Okay, good morning. Um, one thing I wanted to do today that I think could be interesting is to see what is going on behind scenes whenever we're doing something like shoulder replacement. Um, there is a lot of components that go into the instrumentation that we use to replace the shoulder. So these are all trays and they have different type of instruments that allow us to trial different things. Um, so, you know, essentially when we're doing a shoulder replacement, we are taking the arthritic shoulder out and putting in a new shoulder. And it's gonna look something like this. So this would go on the socket side, this would go on the humerus side. So it articulates like this. And this is specifically called a reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. So what you'll see here is that we have a number of instruments that go through the steps of the procedure. Um, we kind of start with the guide pen. We take a guide pen, we would put it into the socket. We use things like a drill that would go through that so that we can put in the implant on the uh, glenoid side for the socket side. So this would go in. And then when we get to the humerus side, we have things like brooches that have different size implants because not every person's the same size. So, you know, you can see there's small differences in the trial brooches. And then if we come over here, there's a number of different sizes, things like the diameter, um, the thickness of the poly. So it has a lot of different variables that we can adapt to the patient that's appropriate for their fit to get the best fit and best range of motion. So a little bit of behind the scenes of the shoulder, uh, reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that now and then we'll show you the finished product at the end.